Hey guys, welcome to or back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Brianna and I post videos every Monday and Thursday. And if you are coming back from a previous video, then thank you so much for coming back. So today, as you can see by the title, I am going to be doing a what I eat in a day video. So I did one of these, it was literally like the third fourth, second, I don't know, <laughs> video on my channel when I first started it back in, I either posted it in March or April, and it has very much changed since then. So I thought I would do a little updated one. I literally love watching people's like what I eat in a day. I don't really know. I'm like really nosy, I guess, or I like to see how like people's food diet compares to like how I eat and everything like that. So I am going to be doing one today and it is going to be a little like tampered. I don't really know if that's the right word, like adjusted. I don't know. Um, because I'm vegetarian, as I've mentioned many times in this channel, I'm vegetarian. Um, I went vegetarian January 2018 and haven't really ate meat since. I haven't ate meat since. I don't know why I said not really. Um, I have had like a few little slip ups where I've had like something with chicken broth in it, but I haven't purposely ate meat in, oh my gosh, three years whoa, I did not realize that, that it was three years last month. Okay, anyway, so this is going to be a what I eat in a day, vegetarian and slightly intermittent fasting. So I have tried intermittent fasting in the past before. Um, I did really good on it for like a month or two, maybe three months back in towards the end of 2019 and I've done really well in it and then I kind of just weaned off and stopped. I think I stopped around like winter break time um, in like December 2019 and haven't really got back into intermittent, into intermittent, 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 intermittent fasting. I hate that word. Okay. Um, and so I just kind of sort of got back into it. I'm still like weaning myself into it. The hours I eat are between 12 PM and 8 PM. So you eat for eight hours on and then 16 hours you fast. And so I just started this not like to lose weight, to diet, anything like that. It's just like, I was eating dinner so late at night. Like I would eat between the hours of like seven and that's being nice. Like seven is being generous. I'd probably eat like 8, 9, 10 p.m. nearly every night and that is just like really not good for your body because like shortly after that I would kind of like lay down, chill for the night, go to sleep and it's not good to like lay down right after you eat and it's just not good for your body because it's not like giving your body the right like fuel and at the right times and anything like that. So I just want to do good for my body because your body is your temple, you know? Anyway, um, so I have tried to start weaning into in intermittent fasting again. I either eat between the hours of like 11 or 12 and like 7, 8, 9 p.m. It's not super strict, but I try as best as I can. So this is going to be a vegetarian and intermittent fasting what I eat in a day. So so it is currently around 11 o'clock right now and I am going to go ahead and just get ready for breakfast. Breakfast is literally my favorite meal of the day. I love breakfast food. I could probably eat breakfast food for all three meals of the day. There's just so much to choose from and I love breakfast. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I'm going to have for breakfast today and let's just get straight into the video after I've rambled on for almost four minutes. <laughs> Okay, but first coffee. I decided to do a little voiceover for this part because you guys have been interested on my Instagram as to what coffee I make and everything like that. And so I just decided to do a little voiceover. First, I go in with some stevia because I'm trying to cut down on my sugar intake. Then I add some milk and then some ice just because I like a cold, like little latte in the morning. I really only drink iced coffee. I don't really drink cold coffee. Then I add this creamer and it is so, so good it's like a vanilla and caramel mixed together which is very very good and then i use this cafe bustello um instant espresso and kind of just warm it up in the microwave for a little bit and then just pour it in my coffee after i mix it with water and it makes such a pretty 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 latte if you guys want a more in-depth um thing of how i make my coffee let me know down below but that is basically it and now it is time for breakfast like the food part um and so i'm gonna make a smoothie this morning with bananas and strawberries and milk mix it all together and i'm also gonna have that with some eggs and and toast so here we go and have fun watching <laughs> Ok 
Okay guys, so breakfast was a few hours ago. It is now around two o'clock, which is normally a typical time for me to have lunch. Um, I honestly do not eat lunch every single day. I don't like lunch to be honest that much. Um, I'm vegetarian, so lunches are kind of difficult for me. Sometimes I like can't have a sandwich because I don't like put turkey or ham or whatever on it. And honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of peanut butter and jelly. I like toast, but I don't like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches that much. I think I used to eat them too much in a high school and so I just like I'm not a fan and so typically for lunch I either eat like a late breakfast and I'm full enough where at lunchtime I have like coffee or something I used to before I started drinking coffee almost every morning but I honestly am not the biggest fan of lunch so this is kind of typical kind of not I'm gonna go see what we have in the fridge I think we have some plain noodles and that's kind of a typical lunch for me if we just have plain noodles left because we're Italian and so we make noodles a lot and I tend to make more noodles than we need so we usually have extra just plain noodles hanging around the house and so sometimes I do not eat lunch but today I am a little bit hungry and so I think I'm gonna go see what we have and I will check in with you guys then Okay, this is what lunch is looking like. So I just got some plain noodles, put some butter on it, and some Parmesan cheese. This is honestly a typical lunch for me. I do not like lunch very much, as I said. I am not a big lunch person. Most of the time, I do not eat lunch. But when we have noodles, just extra plain noodles, I really like just doing this because it's like a simple, small, nice lunch, and I love pasta. So, lunchtime. Okay guys, I am back. As you saw, I got some pasta. So I literally love noodles and I why did I say that? <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> um, I literally love pasta, so I could eat that for literally every meal, but you know what? Too many carbs aren't that good for you, and you need to give your body the right food that it needs. So, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. I normally take a little break from, like, school and everything during lunchtime and many other times throughout the day, but we don't need to talk about that. <laughs> um, and I normally take a break, watch some YouTube videos, catch up on my favorite people on YouTube, or just any videos that I missed from the day, couple days before that, anything like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead, flip on a YouTube video right now, eat my lunch, and that is basically all. So I will catch you guys in a sec. And also during lunch, I just like to drink some water. So I get my like 24 ounce Starbucks cup and just fill it up and leave it at my desk throughout the day or like wherever I am in my room. And that really helps me drink more water with that being like the only thing in my room to drink. It really helps because if I'm like thirsty during lunch, I drink water. Or if I just need something to drink, I drink water. Like I have my little coffee in the morning most days, like I said, but just having this water in my room and being the only drink in my room really helps me drink water throughout the day and I obviously am gonna have it with lunch right now but I just wanted to mention this too like um, I don't know if everybody has tried this but the ice sparkling waters I have been loving lately um, I used to drink them a lot a few years ago and then I kind of just stopped drinking them because I just like real water too. Peach nectarine is my favorite flavor of ice water. If you don't know what ice water is, it's literally just like water. Um, it contains 1% juice. They are like five calories a bottle and they have vitamin A, D, B6, B12, niacin, and biotin in them. They are low calorie, caffeine free water. So it's basically just like drinking healthy flavored water that has a lot of vitamins in it. So if you are not a fan of drinking plain water, um, I like drinking plain water, but I know a lot of people just don't like the taste taste of plain water. So if you need help drinking water and getting vitamins in, I highly recommend these ice waters. Um, they're literally a dollar. I got mine at Walmart. I don't really know where they're sold. I've seen them at like Target, Walmart. I'm sure you can find them at other places too, but I just want to give that little tip because it's always important to get your water intake in for the day. And I drink both plain water and regular ice water. Like I said, the peach nectarine is my favorite, but this is the pink grapefruit. And I don't even like the regular real grapefruit fruit but I like that so just a little tip there and I'm gonna go ahead and eat 
okay, I apologize for the glare. But anyway, normally after lunch, I get a little like hungry for some like chocolate or desserty food. And so I keep a cup of mint Hershey Kisses in the fridge because I like them colder. I just feel like they're better like that. So I'm gonna go grab those right now for a little chocolatey snack. Okay, so as you saw, I grabbed about a handful of Hershey Kisses. If you have not, like I love chocolate when it's like in the fridge or like freezer or something like that. <laughs> you could see my puppy, hey baby. Um, I'm gonna bring her in. Oh, never mind. She doesn't wanna come by me. Um, I love putting chocolate in like the fridge or the freezer and then eating it. I just feel like it's so much better and just really good. So I may or may not eat all of these. We'll see but that's just a little update and i usually have some kind of chocolate after lunch okay so it's starting to get dark outside so sorry if the lighting's a little weird i think it's fine though um but it is almost two hours later it's around 4 15 right now and i ate lunch around two and so i am not that hungry but like i only ate like a little bit of pasta for lunch and so i normally get a little like snacky during this time but i try not to eat like anything too heavy because i eat dinner within the next like one to three hours depending on the day and so today i decided to go ahead and have some green grapes as a little bit of a snack because grapes are one of my favorite fruits they used to be my favorite but now i'm like kind of obsessed with like oranges <laughs> i don't really know why um so i got some green grapes there's kind of a lot in here i just took like a huge stem and i have been really into green grapes lately i only used to eat red grapes and now lately i just feel like green grapes have been a lot better when we buy them than red grapes i just feel like they taste a lot better I don't really know why and I feel like the red grapes get bad really fast so lately I have been loving green grapes sometimes I have these at night instead of having like dessert but today I'm gonna have them as a little bit of a snack so yeah that is just a little update about what I'm eating right now okay and now it is around seven o'clock it is dinner time and I'm gonna go ahead and cook some white rice broccoli and this garden mandarin vegetarian orange chicken this is actually vegan gluten-free vegetarian all that and I'm just gonna do some white rice I kind of want to go into <laughs> making brown rice instead of white rice but for this meal I kind of just like white rice because it reminds me of like Panda Express which I really can't have their orange chicken anymore since I'm a vegetarian and so I'm just gonna go ahead and start making that now and then I will update you guys once it's finished this is a pretty typical meal that I have I have this at least once a week because I just like love it so much and so that's what I'm gonna have tonight I normally have like some kind of grainy thing like potatoes, rice, noodles, and then some sort of vegetable. Normally it ends up being like salad or broccoli because I just love broccoli. And then we normally have like a garden or morning star vegetarian meal sometimes if we're not having like pasta or pizza. So yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay guys, so it is now the next day. I forgot to do an intro last night, but I hope you enjoyed seeing my what I eat in a day video. And that is pretty typical of what I eat in a day. Um, for breakfast, I normally have like eggs, cereal, a smoothie, or a smoothie and eggs like I did yesterday. For lunch, normally I don't eat a lot of lunch or I just have leftover noodles or like rice or something like I said. And then for dinner, that was a pretty typical dinner like I said before too. And then I sometimes eat ice cream after dinner for like a little dessert, probably like twice a week, but I didn't last night. I just wasn't hungry and it kind of depends how late I eat dinner. Since I'm trying to do better with intermittent fasting, it depends if I like eat dinner at like eight o'clock then I don't have time to like eat a whole like ice cream thing but yeah that is basically what I eat in a day I hope you guys enjoyed it because like I said in the beginning of the video I love watching these so if you did don't forget to give this video a like comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel it means so so much and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys